So, he made sure to warn me not to answer if the man calls me again and absolutely not to let them in because after he came one day. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm home today. It's currently, well it's 5 p.m. Been home all day. I, um, my man went to California and left me. Well, he didn't go and leave me. He went on like a, like a family thing, whatever. A girl is not gonna be out of work for a week, I need money. And I'm aware that that makes me sound money hungry, which goes against everything that I believe in. I love money, but I'm not money hungry to the point where I'm gonna like overwork myself or like work myself to death for money immediately now. We're gonna live life and we're gonna enjoy it. Well, Miana's not here and I'm a little bit bored to be completely honest. I'm home today. Not that he would have been home today had he been home anyways, but I'm just a little bit bored. I'm going to make some barbecue chicken. I've, what have I been up to all day? Nothing really. I woke up and I started um, cleaning up around the apartment a little bit, cleaning up the bathroom, straightening up the living room, like sweeping off my um, my rug because as you know, rugs are catch-all. So I was sweeping off my rug and like vacuuming and then um, yeah, I, I dyed my hair black. Are we able to see that? It's nice and black. Yes, dyed it black because for some, as we're on the topic of dyeing it black, I need to repurchase some dye because I used all the dye that I did have. I have this love-hate relationship with coloring my hair and my hair being jet black. And I find that it's always around the summertime that I get sick of seeing the color and I dye my hair black, which you would think because in the wintertime you appear a little bit lighter than you are in the summertime. You would think that's the time that I would want to wear black hair, but no. It's a summertime. So we have jet black hair right now. Um, but yeah, right now I'm going to make this chicken so that I have food for the rest of the week. Today is Tuesday and he's gone until Friday. He left yesterday, early morning, dropped me to work and then he went straight to the airport. <clears throat> and so he'll be gone basically all of the week. I want to use the rest of the week to straighten up the apartment because God knows these men love my man, but these men, they're not as organized as we are at all. So I have two bags of laundry that I need to put away because we had one before and then because he was leaving, he felt an imminent need to go and wash the clothes that had just accumulated. So now there are two bags. So that's great. And, um, but he already said he's coming back with clean clothes, so that's great. So I need to put away the laundry. I don't know that I'm going to do that today. Maybe I will. Maybe when I put this chicken in the air fryer, because I am going to make the chicken in the air fryer the other day. Oh! As I'm going to talk about it, God, I'm bleeding like I'm shot right now, and I'm not, I'm, I'm irritated. I'm always irritated when it's my time of the month, but we're not even going to talk about that, so... Yeah, but um, I love my little pajamas. You guys, whenever I'm home, I'm always wearing pajamas. Before, I would have like a lot of house clothes, but no, I bought this little bowl at Ikea and I absolutely love it. I think I told you guys already, but I'm telling y'all again, I want to turn the air on in the living room, but it's kind of loud. And right now, I literally thought I heard my phone ringing just now, but it wasn't. And when I say I thought I heard it ringing, I meant I thought I heard it vibrating. But it's not. I'm a little all over the place, but circling back to me bleeding like I'm shocked. Um, whenever I have my cycle, my second day is like my absolute worst day. So I'm so grateful that I'm off today because I would have been at work feeling really, really disgusted because how do you not? So that's great. Last night I went to sleep and I casually just bled through whatever. So that's amazing. I'm not sugarcoating it because I feel like that is something that we all go through. And there's nothing TMI about something that we all experience. I feel like that might be a contradiction because there are things that I do feel like are um, TMI. Like, right, girl, we didn't need to know that. But, um, I want to talk about this. <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, 
So because my second day is like my absolute worst day, day I'm very glad that today I'm off. Chances are maybe I would have called out had I not been off. I'm honestly, I was thinking about calling out tomorrow too, but I'm not going to do that. I should be off Thursday, but I'm thinking of picking up the day, the day, but I really have to see how I feel tomorrow. If I don't feel good tomorrow, ain't no way I'm picking up an extra day. So I have this season. I'm, I don't really know how I'm going to make it in the air fryer because I want it to be barbecue. Is it really going to be barbecue? If I, do I put the barbecue sauce on there now before I put it in the air fryer? But after I put it in the air fryer and I keep it for about 20, 25 minutes, I'm going to put it on the stove in a pot and make like some sauce, like real barbecue. This is a very big appliance, so I rarely ever use it, but I'm not going to lie. The other day when I air fried the chicken breast, I absolutely loved it. So did my man. So that's a hit. But you know, I'm also not that person who experiments so much with food. Not exactly. Like what I like, I cook what I like, and I stick to what I like, essentially. But um, these days I find that I experiment more, especially because he... Um, likes to experiment with food. He loves food. Thought I loved food. That man loves food. So I'm going to fit as many pieces as I can inside here. It's nicely seasoned. Do I want to put some jerk seasoning on there? Maybe I will because I'm not going to lie. The, the kick that this Walker's Wood jerk seasoning gives is on another level. I'm not going to put too much because I don't want it to taste like jerked. I just wanted to have like the flavor and the spice. Honestly, I could have just used this jerk seasoning, but one thing about Jamaicans, the food will have flavor. Sometimes maybe a little bit too much, but nonetheless, the food will be fully flavored. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna be able to fit four pieces in here to begin with, which is great. So we're gonna do four pieces first, and then we're gonna come back to the additional two pieces that I have left in here. I think I'm gonna wear this little grab clip in my hair tomorrow and like clip it up the same way because girl, the way how they did the way how these days be hot as hell. I can't. So we're gonna put this in. Last time I did around 20-25 minutes at 350. I don't want them to dry out, but I'm also gonna cook it down in the pot. So this guy, did I decide that I'm gonna put barbecue sauce on there? Alright, maybe I'll just put a little bit on the top of it right now. Not me buying asparagus four weeks ago and now they're bad because mister didn't make the salmon and I quit like when he makes like salmon and asparagus or like lamb chops and asparagus so so good I don't normally wear gloves for everything I'm doing in the kitchen but I don't like when um seasoning is underneath my fingernail and I just got a first set I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done oh maybe I do have a picture of the first set so I'll insert it here so I went to the nail salon and let's, maybe I'll put y'all over here. Went to the nail salon, me and my friend Jules, because we go to the same nail shop. So I went to the nail salon together. I did my nails and everything before I went there. I didn't even plan to go to my nails. She was going and she was like, oh, I'm going to go do my nails. And I'm like, you know what? It makes sense. So I stopped by and I texted my man. I said, babe, I want to do my nails, please. So he was like, okay. So I went and did my nails. And um, and then afterwards, because like I said, he is going to California. He was like, "Oh, um, I wanna, I wanna. Are you done?" He thought I was still at the nail shop. So I'm like, "Yeah, I'm home." And he was like, "Wow, I thought you would have still been there." He wanted us to get pedicures together. So I'm like, "I'm at the house. The nail shop isn't far from the house." So he's like, "Do you? Would you want to?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So he came back home and got me. And then um, we went to the nail salon together and got pedicures. And I chose blue because Nance is obsessed with blue. And I think the blue looks really nice on me, if I do say so myself. Um, also, I had, I had a, the weirdest experience with a Spectrum technician. And I just, I can't even put that in the universe right now. And, and babe, my friend said she hates when I say mister. Um, said, listen, when I'm gone, 
please do not answer that man if he calls you because the encounter was so weird and the way how people are dying, women are being kidnapped, people are just dying, we cannot take any chances. So, he made sure to warn me not to answer if the man calls me again and absolutely not to let them in because after he came one day to fix something with the router or whatever, the next day he, he had somebody call me, said it's his supervisor at this point, I don't know, saying that, um, oh, um, we think he left something in your apartment. So I asked him to describe what the item is that, we, that we'd be looking for. He described it and I'm sitting in the one area that the man was in. My camera battery just died, so I had to go change it really quickly. But, um, I also turned the air on because it's hot like the devil's butthole inside here and I just cannot. So, um, the man called me. He just barely described the item. He's like, oh, I don't really know how to describe it, but you're the supervisor. You should be able to describe whatever this item is. Anyways, I asked him if that was by any chance the contraption the man was wearing around his waist to, like, test the strength of the Wi-Fi because that appeared to have been the issue. He said yes. I said that's a big item. He's like, oh, yeah. It's a little bit bigger than a loaf of bread. It's a lot of bit bigger than a loaf of bread, sir, but um, no, it's not in here. He proceeded to say um, if the man could come look. Me like a dumbass, not thinking about any of it. I didn't think this was sus at all until after the conversation. Uh, he's like, oh, it's an, it's an expensive equipment. Like, can he come and at least check? And I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, I guess they're trying to cover all grounds. I don't know. But after I came off of the phone, I'm like, wow, this is weird. So I called Babe because he was almost home anyway, so I called him. And I'm like, um, I think you should come home right now. And I explained the situation to him or whatever. And he was like, yeah, I'm coming because that's very weird. So, you know, uh, to make a long story short, to the guy, this battery's dead as fuck to. How? The guy came, he barely looked around. He was talking to my man, looking at me, barely looking around in the apartment for the lost item. And he was like, yeah, okay, well, if anything, just call me. Uh, um, immediately, no. The day before, too, when he was leaving, he was like, oh, if you have any issues, don't call Spectrum, just call me. And I'm like, um, that's weird, one. Two, if I had any issues and Spectrum had to send somebody, it would be free. I'm not going to be paying you. So now again, just entirely weird. Entirely weird. So as a result of all the unusual happenings, um, they've made sure to let me know. If the man calls back, do not answer. Do not let anybody in. And I'm not going to lie. It's kind of creepy. Kind of creeps me out. But um, yeah. But I want to make sure that I meal prep because I bought $300 worth of food and I will be damned if this food goes bad inside of this apartment. And we have to buy again. She was like, why did you spend $300? Couldn't even explain it. But also, we haven't been back all month. So, I guess it's justifiable to a certain extent. You guys are all caught up. Nance is in California. I'm home by myself. The spectrum man was weird. Yada, yada, yada. That's all. The recent happenings, I've really been chilling. Haven't been vlogging, just been, you know, relaxing, enjoying each other and stuff like that. But that's all. Anyways, I'll see you guys later because this camera is going to die.